Hello friends. In the previous videos, we have covered and discussed the accelerometer and gyroscope found inside an IMU. If you haven't seen those videos, kindly check the description to find the links. In this video, we would learn about the magnetometer. The magnetometer is used to detect the magnetic fields present near the body or the object. By studying the magnetic fields, we can find the north direction and thus understand our orientation and location in space. Many of the smartphones are equipped with a magnetometer to detect the directions. The smartphone is an electronic device and communicates with its sensors using electrical quantities like voltages or currents. So, it is required that the magnetometer output the value of magnetic field in terms of voltage or current. This can be achieved using the principle of Hall effect. According to Hall effect, if a current carrying conductor is placed in the magnetic field, a voltage is generated across the conductor which is perpendicular to both the current and magnetic field. Let us understand how the voltage is generated. Consider a thin sheet of metal connected to a current source. As seen in the animation, we can see the electrons moving across the thin metal sheet. The electrons are distributed evenly across the sheet. Now, when this metal sheet is subjected to the magnetic field, the density of electrons in the metal sheet changes. As seen in the video, we observe that electrons get distributed unevenly. Due to this distribution, voltage gets generated across the metal sheet and is perpendicular to both the magnetic field and current as seen here. Now let us understand how and why the electron density changes when magnetic field is applied. A moving electric charge experiences a force when it is present in the magnetic field. The magnitude of this force is dependent on the magnetic field, charge and the speed. The direction of this force is perpendicular to both the magnetic field and the velocity of the charged particle. In the case of the current, the charged particles are the electrons and they have a specific velocity. When subjected to a magnetic field, they experience a force perpendicular to their velocity and magnetic field, thus deviating from their path. Due to this, as observed earlier, electron density will change, giving rise to potential difference across the metal sheet. By changing the amount of magnetic field or changing its direction leads to change in the force vector. As the value of force changes, the potential difference also changes, thus giving us the value and direction of the magnetic field. Now, if the current is kept constant and the magnetic field is increased, more electrons get disturbed, thus increasing the voltage. This principle is called as Hall effect. Using this principle, we can measure magnetic field using Hall effect sensors. Hall effect sensors employ the technique described in the video and give the output as a voltage which is proportional to the magnetic field. Hope you have learned something new from this video. Give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You can also follow us on Facebook. The links are given in the description below. Until next time, stay calm and keep learning. Peace out.